and uh, write the material size on this data sheet. And uh, this is the balance for measure the weight of the specimen. We put the specimen on and uh, get the weight and uh, record it on the paper. Okay. Let's set up the specimen in the triaxial cell. First, let's take off the cap. And take off the cell. We have to clean the tube. Make sure there is no soil or some dirt is clogged our system. We can use this syringe, like open the well, and you push it. You can see the water comes from. You can see, you can feel some water comes in from from the tube. And also, let's check this one. You press it, and uh, you feel water comes. Yeah, from here. Okay. So make sure. All the system, there's no dirt to clean the tube, and also include this to the cap of the mm, specimen. Now, let's put some grids on the on the base. Like uh, we put some grids on the base here to seal it in case there's some leakage happens. This is the silicon grid we are using. And also, we can put some grids here around the base of the triaxial chamber. Also, some grids on the cap around it. Okay. Now let's transfer the power cells from the vacuum container. Okay. Now we have our power cells, our filter paper. First. Let's put one power cell above this base and then put a filter paper above the power cell. Place it flat around above the power cell. And then we get our trim specimen. Put it above the filter paper. And then put another piece of filter paper on top of the specimen, leave it flat, and then put the other pearl stone on top of the specimen. That's it. And now we have to get our memory. The memory has been soaked for. 16 hours, and uh, we have to use this membrane expander. First, slide the membrane inside the membrane expander, flip it up, flip it down, and then flip this side down, make it smooth. like this. And now is the very tricky part. 
Usually we will connect this pipe to the vacuum so that the vacuum can suck the membrane to contact tightly with the wall, in, inner wall of this membrane expander. However, now I will do it by myself. I call it man-made vacuum. I will use my mouth to suck it. Okay, so I slide the membrane around the specimen and then take off the bottom part of the specimen. Okay, and then don't forget this top cap. Put it on the power stove and flip the membrane up. Also, you have to raise the membrane expander. Be very careful. Okay, take off the bottom side. Okay, now we have put the membrane around the specimen. Yeah, this membrane seems a little bit large, isn't it? Yeah. Now we need some O-rays to seal the top and the bottom of the specimen. like this size 1.4 inch O-rays. We also need the help of the member expander. Put the O-rays around the member expander. Okay, so we can put it around the specimen. Bottom first. Second. Okay, let's go to the top. Okay, in order to make it look better, we can flip this down like this. And now we need some grease to stop leaking. We can put a little bit of grease around the pipe. Also, some here. And then plug these two pipes on top of the cap. Okay. This one here. Okay. Now let's mount the triaxial seal around the specimen. You can turn it around so make it contact perfect with the base. And then we put the top cap on the specimen.
At this time, we can slide down the loading piston to let it touch the top cap. Okay, so lock here. Don't forget to lock the loading, lock the loading piston once we down. And we can fix the tripod system like this. We pull this three long bolts here and one in this area. And the last one in this side. And then button the screws here. Button here. And also here. That's all. We're finished. The third step is making the air the water. And uh, now, the machine in front of you is our mm, the air the water system in our lab. You can see a big water tank on top, and bottom there is a motor, and here is a control panel. I could distill the water can be sucked from this bottom tank and the water will flow flows go up as the tube and then connect to the mm, top the water tank and if I switch the buttons on the panel and the vacuum can be applied to the water tank and as the motor spins all the air bubbles can be sucked out by the vacuum. Now, the bottom motor is on. You can see the water is spinning inside the water tank. And the vacuum is applied to the water. So air bubbles will be being sucked out. And uh, after the air is water, Water will be flow out, as you can see these two lines, and the water will go down to this triaxial control panel and go inside to different cylinders, as you can see here. Now, we'll put the, the air the water inside the chamber. As you can see, in the water level is rising up and it's almost uh, over the top of the specimen. Yeah, it's coming. It's always, yeah. Okay, now the water level is higher than the specimen and we have to fulfill this chamber until the water level touches the top of the cap. This machine in front of us is called volume measurement machine. We can use this machine to measure the volume change of the cell or volume change of the specimen during consolidation procedure. Now let's connect this volume change machine to our triaxial cell. Before we connect this volume change machine to our triaxial chamber, we have to clean the air inside this volume change machine. As you can see, I fulfill this second cylinder with water, and then I will turn the valve to pressure, turn to pressure. So I will, I will compress the air into this volume change machine and uh, compress the water into this volume change machine and so the water will replace the air in, inside the system. Now I'm going to turn this well to pressure. 
so that the water, the air inside the water change machine can be compressed out. And we open.